Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang, and welcome to the latest and long-awaited episode of The Need Ascension. So in this one, I basically plan to talk about my current plans to overhaul my diet and replace all of the unhealthy things that I'm currently eating with, uh, with things that are a lot more healthy, a lot more nutritious, and a lot more, um, I guess, universally agreed upon as being healthy. and. I know there's a lot of debate about what is considered healthy in terms of diet or not, but my goals for this are to basically do two things, which is optimize for testosterone and to basically uh, lower my body fat percentage as, mu as much as possible. And um, I guess also to basically provide myself uh, the necessary nutrition so that I might be able to rely on supplements a lot less because given my current diet, I don't really get the proper vitamins and minerals that I should be getting because I do tend to eat a lot of quote unquote empty calories. So with that being said, I'm just gonna go over firstly the things that I'm gonna cut out. So the first thing that I'm probably gonna go, uh, fuck. The first thing that I'm probably gonna cut out of my diet are instant noodles and this saddens me a lot because this is probably one of my favorite foods but i do eat it way too much i do eat them way too much and i did read some article about how just eating instant noodles just even once a week drastically increases your chances of suffering from numerous health conditions like metabolic syndrome uh cardiovascular disease stomach cancer uh i forget the article i don't know how true it is though but uh i think there probably is some truth to it because instant noodles are just packed with chemicals and the noodles are mostly deep fried there is a ton of sodium and preservatives and in general i just think that it certainly wouldn't hurt my health to cut this out of my diet and while i do want to eat it at least a little bit, I'll probably limit it to just once a month, maybe as one of my cheat meals, which I'll talk about in a bit. And the second thing that, that I'm gonna cut out is fried foods, deep fried foods, which I also love. Uh, but the reason I'm cutting these out is that firstly, a lot of deep fried foods are battered with a lot of simple carbs, like these highly processed white flours and then they're deep fried in high at high temperatures, oftentimes with oil that has been oxidized through repetitive frying and is probably going rancid. And just the whole process of deep frying things over and over again, which is what happens in your typical restaurant, because it is pretty cost cost effective or sorry, it's pretty uh, cost prohibitive to keep using a new batch of oil of each uh, fry so fry session so they basically just freeze the oil over and over again and as a result when you buy fried food you're probably ingesting a lot of crap and it's just really high calorie so i will be cutting it out for that reason the third thing that i'm going to be cutting out is chinese food and obviously you might be wondering why chinese food specifically Obviously, this won't apply to all Chinese food, especially stuff that I make at home, which is probably healthier than what you can get at a restaurant. But I basically will be cutting out any sort of Chinese food that I can get at a restaurant. And I guess I'll extend that and basically stop myself from buying food from the outside, except for maybe the occasional cheat meal. And that's because just Food on the out, food from outdoors, I mean, in restaurants is generally, they generally try to spend the least amount of money making things taste good for as little as possible to, in order to keep customers addicted. And that pretty much involves just including a lot of unnecessary fat, salt, sugar, flour to thicken things up and act as an extender, uh, MSG, which kind of tricks your your brain into consuming way more food past your normal satiety, sati whatever, whatever it's called, satiation. I'm illiterate, but um, yeah. And I'll also be cutting out 
uh, anything with wheat because of just the phytoest phytoestrogens that are in them and the fact that there might be a chance that I'm gluten intolerant. Um, so I will be cutting that out. I don't know if I actually am, but I just want to not, I don't want to take that risk. So I will be cutting that out. I'll also be cutting out all dairy because, well, I eventually decided to read up on what goes on in dairy. And apparently they pump these pregnant cows full of hormones, specifically estrogen, in order to make them lactate more. And there's also just a ton of crap like pesticides and other hormones and phytoestrogens that go that make it into that end up in the milk. So for that reason, I'll be cutting out all dairy uh, that is from milk. I'll still eat eggs until I find more, ev more evidence that it's unhealthy, but otherwise, yeah. And the final thing that I'll be cutting out would probably have to be all sugary things which might not sound hard for me at first because I don't consume any candy at all and I rarely eat any dessert, but I do have a soft spot for uh, sweetened beverages like soda and things like milk tea, malt milk, chocolate milk, things like that, which are just easy ways to pack on a lot of calories. And I did recently read a study which um, talked about how uh, testosterone levels were lower in those who consumed, uh, I think it was like maybe like 30 to 40 grams of sugar through sugary sweetened beverages. And it's pretty easy to consume that within a day, especially when you start drinking things like Coke every meal. So because of that, I will be cutting that out as well. And so that basically comes down to what will I include in my new diet? And I'll basically be doing something like a, I guess, paleo diet. I don't know if it's, a, I don't know if it's exactly a paleo diet because I'll still be eating things like white rice, but I will be going for things like long grain rice and probably experimenting with other types of grains, whole grains and like brown rice and oats, barley. Mm. I'll also be able to eat tubers like potatoes, sweet potato, yams, carrots, and those will be the primary source of my carbs. Uh, I still will be eating meat at least until uh, I can find more evidence that it's extremely bad for you. And also, or if I stick with this diet and I see no results, then I honestly might try going vegan for a week or not a week, but maybe like a month to see how I feel. But I feel like that would be a last resort thing because I do really badly with these sort of extreme diets where you cut, cut one entire food group out. And I honestly don't feel like I'll be able to sustain that at this moment because meat just tastes too damn good. But, um, I will be eating meat, but preferably a lot of leaner cuts of meat. No more pork belly, no more chicken thighs with the skin and the fat on. Probably just chicken breast. Uh, fatty fish would be okay because fish, the fat in fish tends to be a little bit better. Uh, I'll be eating moderately fatty to, I guess, lean, relatively lean, uh, beef. I guess beef is inherently fatty as a meat itself. So I guess I'll be eating a lot less of it, but I do feel like there is some benefit to eating red meat. So I will be eating some of that, but I'll be, I'll be eating a little bit less, probably mostly chicken breast and fish and maybe some sort of lean cuts of steak, like strip loin, um, filet, flank steak maybe and stuff like that and i'll also be increasing my intake of vegetables and uh so stuff like broccoli i'm not going to list out all the vegetables i can think of because well vegetables are vegetables and i feel like they are a much better alternative to fruit because fruit has 
has that just unnecessary quantity of fructose, which is just added sugar and which the body can't really metabolize like normal. So in my mind, I just want to cut all fruit out and just rely purely on vegetables. And um, alongside this, I'll also be taking my supplement stack, quote unquote stack, uh, which is just all the stuff that I'm taking, like uh, zinc, vitamin D, uh, ashwagandha, magnesium, uh, glucosamine, and beef liver pills, and oh yeah, and probiotics, and I will be supplementing my diet with those things. And alongside my regular exercise, hopefully this should lead to some, I guess, notable improvements in my performance in terms of training for the MMA stuff, because I do sort of notice now that I'm training for MMA and especially pushing myself that diet really does play a big part in how you feel while doing exercise. I never really felt this while lifting weights because you could pretty much uh, get away with longer breaks and not pushing as hard, pushing with crap form, but with things like MMA and I guess most, most sports like basketball, soccer, where you're kind of forced to perform and be athletic for prolonged periods of time and not get as much of a break. I do, I have noticed that diet really does impact the way you feel and it can really affect the quality of a workout and even affect things like how you're able to coordinate your body. So hopefully by improving my diet this way, not only will I achieve one of my New Year's resolutions of getting a six pack, but also it'll help me on my I guess, long-term goal of competing in an amateur fight and not getting my ass entirely kicked by whoever I'm fighting. So yeah, those are my current plans for my diet. And what else do I have to say about this? Um, oh yeah, in terms of cheat meals, I will be, I will have them because I, at least for the moment, I think it is pretty unrealistic of me to expect to be able to cut out all of these things that I've been eating uh, in excess. Well, not in excess, but I've been eating, you know, bad things and alternating them pretty frequently. But at the end of the day, they're all mostly unhealthy. So I think it is pretty unrealistic to cut out all these things all at once because they are they, they make me feel pretty comfy. But Hopefully, if I limit my cheat meals to maybe two cheat meals a week and not having them both on the same day, so maybe like one on Wednesday and one on Sunday, and maybe one of those cheat meals, so basically eight cheat meals a month, and one of those cheat meals can be instant noodles, and other cheat meals can be things like everything that I mentioned previously, as well as food that is purchased from the outside then hopefully by doing that, I won't incur too much damage. And at the same time, I'll be able to keep my weight down. And obviously this goes without saying, but I also won't be consuming any alcohol as stated in my year's resolution, because that is technically sort of like a food and it does basically poison you. And it makes me feel like crap the day after I drink where I just feel bloated and weak and lazy and makes me not want to work out at all. I, and I always skip workouts after I drink. So that's all I'll be cutting that out. So anyways, uh, I guess the video is probably long enough now. So I'll probably end it here. Uh, so this is company signing out. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this content and make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you enjoy this peace. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention is that I will be taking pictures of each meal that I eat and posting them as sort of like a brief slideshow at the end of each video in order to basically hold myself accountable and show my viewers what I'm eating. And I will be taking a picture of everything I eat 
and labeling it based on the date and time, or I guess like which meal that I had it for. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. And yeah, peace.